Analog 1. These instructions contain four analog entries comprised of this set of instructions, the first three verses of Genesis, a human child's line drawing of a stick figure, a primer to a fraction of the Earth's 7,111 languages, followed by a brief statement on existential threats and archival cultures, which has been handwritten in a small notebook, then translated into binary code and printed by lasers, followed by haiku. This poem can be read by the naked eye. Analog 2 Bereshit bara Elohim et hashemayim va'et ha'aretz v'ha'aretz hayata tohu v'vohu v'choshech al-pnei tohom v'ruach Elohim m'rachefet al-pnei ha'mayim v'yomer Elohim yihi or v'yihi or Brief Statement on Existential Threats and Archival Cultures, written in a small notebook and then translated into digital code and printed by lasers. First, there were handprints outlined in reverse by mixing a paste of red ochre and spit and blowing this through a hollowed out bone. Then, stitched leather pouches to hold seeds, etc. Then scrolls, pyramids, and codices. These have all lasted millennia and were analog before it was cool to be analog. Then came microfiche on plastic sheets that will probably degrade or melt in about a hundred years or in the event of a catastrophic event. In the meantime, along came digital formats, zeros and ones, punched into IBM cards by female key punchers like my mother circa 1974. Then microchips and thumb drives. Information coded in synthetic DNA or grafted onto the DNA of living plants, such as Nicotiana bentamiana, common tobacco, that can, in theory, grow whole libraries from seeds. Imagine walking through a park that is actually a library, every plant, flower, and shrub full of archived information. Then back to analog again with optical nanolithography, letters the size of a bacillus bacterium etched onto glass and then filigreed with atoms of nickel. Layers and layers of this stuck together with epoxy resin, holding the DNA and hair follicles of a venture capitalist, as well as a pinch of tardigrades who also, in their dormant state, have their cells replaced by a protein that resembles glass. And all of this shot to the moon on the Bereshit rocket, which crashed 11th April 2019. Probably the tardigrades survived. I could have chosen any tree upon the downs, one of the sweet-smelling limes of Ladies Mile, a humble hawthorn by the cliffs, flamboyant chestnuts, a seven sisters pine. I'm spoiled for choice. He loved them all. But these gentle ash trees spanning the path, making in summer that glorious arch of green, he took me to them on one of our walks and I could see he loved them as dear friends. Fraxinus Excelsior, Nick loved names. I checked out your CV. Strong and versatile. You're a genuine all-rounder. Always ready to help out on a new project. Doors and floors, tables and chairs, a kitchen worktop, a brand new boat, 
axes and spades and oars and bows, coaches and carts and rackets and skis, look how faithfully you have served us. So, an excellent choice. You fit the bill. I know he'll be in good hands. And as I lay him down beneath you, do now this one new service. Let your roots unite him with the earth your branches with the stars. Shadows arrive. Shadows arrive. Shadows arrive. Splendor seeds. Splendor seeds. Splendor seeds. To a fire above. To a fire above. To a fire above. Upon this dark water. Shadows remain. Shadows remain. Shadows remain. Sexy recycling. Home from a long shift, see through with tiredness, you sort our recycling in the rain. 
You won't let me help. So I lean in the doorway, mocking you softly. You stamp on soggy cardboard, crush cans in strong hands, and swear at anything that says it can't be recycled. Yet. Watching you work, I know this moment won't degrade. Tonight we'll be recycled in my mind until we're clinging onto life like polar bears to ice. We'll drift for decades on a raft of thick debris, debating what our desert island discs will be, until at last we can't resist the sea. Here on our wistful street, it's late. Curtains flinch at the drunken tumble of glass. A fox propels its sideways tees. All you want to do right now is sit down, kick your shoes off and fold away the day. Raindrops scrape your neck and soak your shirt to the skin. My heat is rising faster than the atmosphere. That's not the ozone tingling. Forget ripped jeans, tight tops and all that rot. Doing the right thing is honestly the origin of heart. Una mano brutale schiaffeggia le tenere fonde. Corsi d'acqua rigonfi tracimano dalle loro naturali sponde. I fiumi, un tempo generosi, ora sono asciutti. Inaridiscono le campagne e patiscono la sete gli animali. Fianchi di monti rovinano impetuosi sulle nostre case. Popolazioni provate da carestie, da malattie emigrano. Natura matrigna, perché persisti? Non io, ma voi, uomini ribelli, mi trasformate. Per scopi egoistici. Pochi. Possiedono tanto. Tanti possiedono poco. Troppo poco per vivere con dignità. Cerca, uomo del terzo millennio. In fondo al tuo cuore. In modo per applicare la mia rabbia. Costruisci ponti, non muri. Condividi le mie risorse. Perché tutti abbiano il giusto. E non sottovalutare le mie leggi. Infatti sono madre generosa. Ma giusta ed esigente poiché nessun essere vivente è inferiore agli altri tutti sono figli miei quelli di ieri quelli di oggi quelli di domani una mano brutale una mano perché? brutale perché? 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 Popolazioni, perché? popolazioni, perché? popolazioni, carestie. Perché? perché non io, perché? Perché? non io, perché? Perché? Non ma voi, perché? ma voi, perché? 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 Pochi, perché? Pochi, perché? Pochi, perché? Pochi, perché? Pochi, perché? Pochi, perché? 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 Hincando el mar, raíz roto, no me secaste o ahogaste ni de mi hogar desterraste, mi hogar en donde floto. Esta es mi esencia tal como una semilla de mangle, aún después de desgarrarse, aún cuando desterrada, rodeada entera por agua, nunca ha de marchitarse. Soy tierra desgajándome, rodeada entera por mar, sin rumbo fijo a cruzar mi alma, conteniéndose e igual naturalizándose adentro de mi raíz. Y acá, allá o allí, dependiendo si la marea una vez me asienta en tierra, lejos o donde nací. Mas mientras ansiosa espero, 
también desesperándome soy tierra desgajando mi barco que no anda o ancla en puerto raíz asida al viento el vaivén del mar llevándome soy tierra desgajándome desgajada mi existencia solo donde agarra tierra raíces hecha clavándoles no decido cómo o dónde cruzando la tempestad entre corrientes de mar, tan incierto es mi brote como si ves saldrá flote. Un incierto en donde floto, la mar, mi destino y todo, las mareas agitándose, soy tierra desgajándome e hinco en el mar, raíz roto. Soy pura cepa de mangle, Puedo hundirme o hincar en tierra, flotar en oscilación eterna, mas no he de doblegarme. Soy tierra desgajándome, mas bañándome y buscándome entre ciclones y mareas, aún conservo la certeza que un día acabaré encontrándome. Raíz asida al viento, el vaivén del mar llevándome, soy tierra desgajándome, barco que no anda o ancla en puerto. Flotando en vaivén eterno, buscando dónde hallarme según me embarque el oleaje. No soy hija de mar o tierra, soy poricua de pura cepa y pura cepa de mangle. J'habite une demeure tendre, qui en a connu bien d'autres. Elle, emprunte à outrance, et moi, en passager installé, faisons bloc en forêt dans l'instant d'une feuillaison figée. C'est une maison comme une autre, armature élevée autour du piétinement de l'exil. Piliers et poutres d'abord montés, puis les vides remplis qui peuvent enfin former habitation et camper l'habitacle d'un mortel en attente et en péremption d'être dans l'éternelle expectative de celui à qui rien ne peut plus arriver. Car le désastre est déjà advenu, tel qu'il s'annonçait dès lors que les hommes ont trop fait usage de tout le viable jusqu'à jachère obligé et définitive du monde. Depuis, les arbres font autour de moi, cerclent les forteresses, tiennent la feuille haute, tonnerre végétal contre tendresse du sol. Me protège, dirait-on. Nous sommes et resterons en des temps d'automne glauque, à demeure. À jamais les saisons passées carbonent pour s'étaler en une seule, glauque. Je dis « nous », mais cela est peut-être du pur passé, car je ne sais pas qui peut bien encore rester à pouvoir écouter la brise au-delà de mon cheptel végétal, à frissonner en vision perdue. Vieux les désirs d'autres, Vieux, les regrets et les souvenirs d'humanité. Il n'y a plus que cet arbrisseau jeune auquel je me mesure d'ennui et de tristesse, évoquant les enfants qui poussaient encore comme eux. Il y a de cela malheur. Les miens me hantent, car je les pense dans l'hiver, là-bas, ou pire, cadenassés dans ce qui s'est envolé à mausolée et délire. Écrire, je me dis, c'est garder le fort, toute honte but. Tenir un Talmud des temps d'apocalypse. Écrire en se maintenant, 
c'est refaire la Bible et la réciter à l'envers depuis sa fin des temps qui ouvre l'existence. Je tiens stature devant l'arbrisseau. Sa taille est celle de mon aîné à 14 ans d'escale sur cette terre. Ne reste plus d'âge à mesurer et un grand gaillard qui est de l'avenir compromis habite mes seuls rêves. Je dirais l'enfant désormais pour lui comme pour son frère, le genou, mes fils en générique. Cela fait moins mal. Et leur mère, tombée au-delà, perdue, une mèche douce dans un écrin pour seule remembrance. Mon ambre, mon ange qui s'est fendu en deux êtres et m'a apporté amour et survie. Je puis le front à la vitre froide et prie pour leur présence. Mes pleurs ont déjà quelque peu effacé les marques de leur évolution. Quand c'était printemps et que l'avenir promettait, J'habite aujourd'hui le verre éternel de l'irrésolution et de la décadence. Un verre d'étrange automne, ramure transie dans les arbres, morte en acte de foliation. Bien sûr, il y a toujours les volées de feuilles qui se repentent d'être encore là, attachées, hystériques, à l'affût des saisons. Il y a bien la brise limpide, un soleil de blé perdu. Aussi la volupté des nuages excitant le bleu du ciel tombé en disgrâce. Être ici, cela revient à perdurer comme un corps inutile, à se nourrir d'amertume, porté par le désir de rejoindre les siens qu'on garde vivants en soi par cette survivance affligée. Mourir ou les perdre, pour de bon, pour de mal, c'est le seul enjeu qui demeure. Être seul et souvenir, ou déjà passer dans un horizon morbide, un être mémoire. Une pluie, ce matin, est montée jusqu'à moi jusqu'à ce crépuscule des humains, dilué en ma demeure, grosse jusqu'à courant, jusqu'à flots et marées, grosse et abreuvante, m'immerge comme le retour vengeur des larmes, exudation qui ramène à l'origine. Je rêve que je m'y noie, enfin total et perdu, et coule mon habitat tangue, s'emporte, il s'imbibe jusqu'à la fuite, jusqu'au ruissellement qui débâcle. Que je ferme les yeux et ce sera fait. Je retrouverai ceux qui m'attendent. Car le néant est la vertu de l'univers sensible. Depuis toujours, demeure un signe. Déité transi. The cherry tree. When the cold, colorless months of winter stretch endlessly, I waited for the flowering of the cherry tree like a child counting the days to a birthday. Growing older, the months speeded up, the blossom opening in March scorched by frost or quickly blown from the branches to lie rain sodden on the lawn. If the tree hadn't towered so huge and unwieldy, I'd have erected a tent to hold back the birds. But while I shrank, it rose even higher. I was sure the tree would outlive me sap rising up the trunk long after I was ash. My 
But now, strangled by ivy, it's weakening too. Only this moment is certain, both of us here and alive. A cherry tree flowering, a woman gazing at branches clotted with pink blossom and searching for words. En el principio, era el mar. Y ahí sigue, embrutecido, invariable en su oleo, persistente. Antes, los ríos bajaban sus limos hacia él, los torrentes vaciados de aguas turbias. Ahora nos precipitamos con el calor y las cervezas, huyendo de nuestros desatinos. El eterno fulgor de olas que escucha el viento, yendo y viniendo a través de las eras geológicas, del cenozoico a la arena fina, de las playas. Millones de amaneceres y batir de espumas. Cuánta insignificancia. Nuestras vidas. Una roca que terminará deshecha. Unos sueños que terminarán en párpados cerrados. Nuestros recuerdos. Nuestras vivencias. Pulverizados en arena fina. Filtrándose a través de... Nadie, no habrá nadie para acariciarlos y el viento seguirá levantando espuma y olas batientes cuando el hombre no esté. Y el mar, el mar siempre seguirá ahí. The blackened stones a graveyard now. The tower floor seeps. My ashen thoughts in disarray, damp with worry, flee. A meanness of crows unpicks my chest, searching for a beat of a heart already dead. Every day, an apocalypse. Australia burns. Venice floods, the Arctic hotter than Alabama, a deluge in Alice, California incinerates, Bangladesh submerges, in Senegal a rising sea eats at coastal houses. Everywhere crops fail, species vanish. We aren't the only animals that know. It's always too hot, too cold, too wet, too burnt, too little, too much, too late. Every day, an apocalypse. Our fossil fuel romance weighs down dreams, wrecked with deliberation, raised by default. Toxicities chokehold a consensual footnote. Pandemic calls, pause. Nature cloisters sinners, the suffocating virus, her odorless revenge. Freed from
from commerce she at least can breathe as we the heartless guilty hunker hoping for reprieve every day an apocalypse ah my lovely parasite my psycho teen storm shyly you hide from our lying eyes dead men laugh when you open your mouth remains lay thick at your feet you shattered lies with silent battle cries turn bodies to bullets now the wild beasts enter empty city streets poke their antlers and beaks signaling an apocalypse every day an apocalypse every, every day, day. Span can see an apocalypse that it's a good day every day. It's a good day every, every day. day. It's a good day every day for rain and apocalypse. Plastic Nick. Open plastic hampers. Pop open plastic lids to plastic clamshells. A convenient feast huddled within. Sit on plastic chairs around plastic tables draped with plastic. Use plastic spoons to heap food on plastic plates. Devour it with plastic forks and knives. Pour soda from plastic bottles into plastic cups and suck it up with plastic straws while the baby suckles on a plastic soother. Later, wrap all leftovers in new plastic. Or scrape them into old plastic. Carry it all home in plastic. Then, take plastic out of plastic to put on plastic shelves in the plastic body of the fridge. When this all ends, the trees will still root, knotted feet in mulch and soil. When this all ends, when this all ends, the bluebells won't forget to bloom, and the birds will still find dry leaves. To nest when this all ends. When this all ends, the rivers will still flow downwards. Great stones will weather over time when this all ends. When this all ends, the mill pond will still lay silent. Long since turning, now covered in ferns when this all ends. When this all ends, the houses will turn to ruin. Rain drenching years of carpet and new paint when this all ends. When this all ends, the great halls and banks and palaces will be filled with moss and grass and water when this all ends. When this all ends, the earth will still turn sideways. She will still have seasons, although they won't have names anymore when this all ends. When this all there will still be night and bright stars, a moon to greet the ocean and wash away the dawn when this all ends, when this 
all ends, there will still be things like today, tomorrow, only there will be no way to measure it apart from seeing it when this all ends, when this all ends, it will be the beginning. It's anything like what's here now. It will be beautiful.